hoping to bounce back from their defeat to Bray. Bows were hoping to do better than the draw they earned against Shamrock Rovers. St. Pat's may have had home advantage at Richmond Park, but Bohemians had recent history on their side, having given just one point away to their Dublin rivals in all four league meetings last season. And after both sides had failed to win on this season's opening weekend, their second game proved to be a cagey affair. Although Bowes did get slightly on top in the opening exchanges, Fergal Harkin's angled shot proved straightforward for Barry Ryan. For a short while at least, Gareth Farrelly's side did try to up the tempo. Harkin's dangerous cross was missed by Kevin Hunt. Stephen Ward's shot was well blocked down. But their failure to keep up the pressure allowed Pants their first real chance 27 minutes in. Keith Fahey's free was glanced wide by Barry Prendival. The defender not quite able to get the desired touch in the ball. And they continued to creep more into the game as the half went on. And the pressure almost paid off two minutes after Prendival's effort. Fahey laid back to Stephen Caffrey. And the midfielder almost broke hearts at his former club. His effort never likely to come down though. The nervousness carried through to the second half, although both sides did have half chances in the first 15 minutes. But it was Pats who finally began to find their feet, thanks to the work of Fahey in the middle. He and Keith Dunn proved instrumental in the hosts' attacks. Dunn forced the best from Matt Gregg on this occasion. The follow-up efforts proved fruitless. 15 minutes from time, Prenderville's determination paid off, and Dunn went on the attack again. Once more, Greg had to be at his best. Pat's two danger men combined a couple of times more to create real problems for Bowes. With 10 minutes remaining, Fahey played done through. But Greg was alert to the danger and has saved his team yet again. But the home side still had one last golden chance to grab the three points in injury time. Fahey picking out an unmarked done in the box. His effort didn't even require Greg's services this time visiting manager and his teammates had been let off the hook. So, still no win for either of these Dublin clubs. Final score from Richmond Park. St. Patrick's Athletic nil, Bohemians nil. Yes, and both sides no doubt will be disappointed with their start to the 2005 season. Now, Belfield was the venue on Friday night for the